Now we're going to multiply algebraic fractions. We're going to do a little one and a big one without factoring. I want to multiply fractions. I do want to cancel, if I can. I want to cancel any numerator with any denominator. So, if possible, I can cancel on an angle, numerator and denominator. I can cancel on this angle, numerator and denominator. I can also cancel, if possible, up and down, because I have a numerator and denominator. What I could never do is cancel two numerators or two denominators. So here we go. I see it looks like my 5 has to stay, but I can deal with my 2 and my 6. 2 into 2, 1. You have to use the same number twice. 2 into 6, 3. I look at my a's. I have an a here and an a cubed here. I can cancel. It's just like as if I had an a in the numerator and an a cubed in the denominator. Instead of up and down, they're just on an angle. So, a into a cubed would be a squared in the denominator. We do the same thing. a into a cubed gives me a squared. All right, we'll forget this. So now, I look and see what I have. I multiply across. 3 times 5 is 15. 1 times a squared is a squared. So my answer is 15 over a squared. Now we're going to do a bigger one. I'm going to do it two different ways, and you tell me which way you think is the easiest. And then that's the way you'll do it. Let's say I have 4x squared y to the 6 divided by 3x to the 4th y squared times 9y cubed divided by 8xy to the 4th. So, I'm going to do it with counts, canceling it first, and then I'm going to do it another way in a minute that I think is easier. But, if I want to start canceling, I see my 4 and my 8. I go 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8, 2. I want to cancel my 3 and 9. 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 9, 3. So, let's get them over with. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2. Now, I look at my x's. I have choice. I have an x squared here and an x here. I have an x squared here and an x here. I could either cancel this x into the x squared and get x, or I can cancel this x into the x squared and get x. You probably would do the angle one. Oops, sorry about that. You probably would do the angle one first. So, x into x squared is x. They're a little messy, so you have to be careful. My y's, I got y's all over the place. So, I could start y squared into y cubed. I could start y squared into y sixth. I could start y cubed into y fourth. So, every time I do this, I would probably do it different. So, are you used to the angles? All right, so let's do that first. Let's say I have y squared into y cubed gives me y. But now I look like what I'm left. I have 6, y, and a y fourth. I can cancel numerator and denominator. I can go y into y fourth, y cubed. I look and see what I got left. I got a y sixth and a y cubed. I can now go y cubed into y six, subtract exponents, gives me y cubed. But you see, this is so messy, I um, would do it the second way, but we gotta check. It looks like I have a 1x over here and a y cubed. This all went to 1, and it looks like I got a 3. So I have 1 times 3 is 3, I have a 3. Then it looks like I've got 1x, and it looks like I've got a y cubed. Denominator. This is gone. I've got an x to the fourth. It looks like left. No x is here. And I got a 2. So it looks like I got 2 x to the fourth. So now, this is a mess. 
So we'll do it a different way, see if we get the same answer. I'm going to start out with the same problem. 4x squared, y to the 6th, divided by 3, x to the 4th, y squared, times 9y cubed, divided by 8, 1x, y to the 4th. So now, what I think is easier, I still would cancel my numbers because I don't want to get big numbers and have to simplify. So I'd still do that. 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8, 2, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 9, 3. So I'm still going to get 3 over 2. So what I think is easier on these bigger ones with a lot of exponents, I would multiply across once and cancel once. In other words, when we multiply, we add exponents. So x squared, there's no other x, so I have an x squared. When I multiply my y's in multiplication, we add exponents. I get y to the ninth. I multiply my denominator. I have x to the fourth times x. I'm going to get x to the fifth. I multiply, I get y to the sixth. So now, I subtract exponents, and I'm going to get an x cubed in the denominator and a y cubed in the numerator. So now I should get the same answer, and I look and I say, oh, I didn't cancel my x's. I should have went x into x fourth x cubed. So we'll have to do that over. So now we're going to do a bigger one with a lot of exponents. So there's two different ways. I'm going to do it both ways, and you decide which way you like best. I look at this, and I want to cancel. First of all, I have all times, 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 times. I don't have terms anywhere, so I'm allowed to cancel. So 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8, 2, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 9, 3. So let's get our numbers done with. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2. Now, if I cancel, I look at my x's. I have an x squared here and x fourth here. I can cancel x squared into x fourth and get x squared. Or I could start with x into x squared and get x. We have choice. So let's say I go x squared into x fourth, and I'm going to get x squared. I have no other x's to cancel here. I can't cancel sideways. So my, I'm done with my x's. I go to my y's. I can cancel y squared into y sixth, or I can cancel y cubed into y fourth, or I can start on an angle. It's up to you. So let's say we do y fourth, into y sixth, and I get y squared. So now I could still double cancel. I have a y squared here and a y squared here. So I might as well cancel them. They cancel evenly. So it looks like I'm left with the y cubed. Now I admit this is messy, but you gotta be careful. So I see what's left. Looks like my x cubes, I don't have any x's or y's. So it looks like all I have is a y cubed. Down here, I gotta be careful. My y's are canceled out. I got an x squared and an x, so I'm going to get an x cubed. So if I didn't make a mistake, my answer is three y cubed over two x cubed. The only way to check this is just do it over. So it's just too messy. Or, I could do it this way, and I think this is the best way for one with a lot of exponents, but let's see what you think. I copy over the same problem. 4x squared, y to the 6th, divided by 3x to the 4th, y squared, times 9y cubed, divided by 8xy to the 4th. 
So now, I still want to cancel my numbers because I don't want to multiply 36, 24 and simplify a bigger fraction. So, 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8, 2. That's the same. 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 9, 3. I multiply across. I still have 3 over 2. But when I have a lot of exponents, I probably think it's easier without any mess to multiply across and cancel once. I want to multiply x squared y to the 6 times y cubed. I'm multiplying x squared, but there's no other x's to multiply it by, so I have an x squared. When I multiply, I add exponents. So I get y to the ninth. My denominator, I have x to the 4th y squared times xy to the 4th. I multiply my x's. Don't forget that's an exponent of 1. I get x to the 5th. I multiply my y's. I add exponents. I get y to the 6th. Nice and neat. Now I only have to cancel once. x squared and x to the 5th gives me an x cubed in the denominator. y to the 6th and y to the 9th gives me y cubed in the numerator. It's the same answer. I just think it's easier the second way. Uh, let's do one more, but we'll just do it, I think, the easier way, just so you get the idea. Let's say I have one like this. Uh, let's see. Let's make it 4. x to the 4th y cubed over 8. xy to the 5th times. Uh, 12 x squared y divided by 6 x to the fourth. All right, so here we go. Now I could start canceling, but to me it's just too messy. And every time I do these, I would do it different. So I could start 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8, 2. Or I could start 2 into 4, 2, 2 into 6, 3. Or I could start 6 and the 6, 1, 6 and the 12, 2. You have tons of choice. Let's see. 6 and the 6, 1, 6 and the 12, 2. I now can cancel this 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 8, 4. I can cancel my 4s. So somehow, all my numbers cancel out to 1. Now, I would multiply across. I multiply my x's, I get x to the 6th, I get y to the 4th. I multiply across, I get x to the 5th, and no y's here, so it's just y to the 5th. Now I do my division. I'm going to get an x in the numerator, a y in the denominator. So my answer is just going to be x divided by y. Now we're going to divide algebraic fractions. So it's very similar to multiplication, except for one thing. Hopefully you know that I cannot cancel across a division sign. So what I want to do is change this to a times. And hopefully remember what to do with fractions. My 4x cubed stays over 3x. So now when I change this division to a times, what has to happen? I have to invert the fraction to the right. I have to take the reciprocal, which is when I flip a fraction. So now I get 9x squared divided by 12x to the fifth. So how I can remember which one to flip, I flip the right one, not the wrong one. So now I have 4x cubed over 3x times 9x squared over 12x to the fifth. Then I can either multiply across or cancel. Now this is a little one, so I'm going to cancel just so that you remember how to cancel if I need to. 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 12, 3. Now I can't cancel these 3's. They're two denominators. But I can go 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 9, 3. I check my numbers. I have a 1, 3, 1, 3. Oh, I can cancel those 3's. 3 into 3, 1. 
It's 3 into 3, 1. So now I'm going to get 1 over 1. Now I could multiply across, but just so I can remind you that I can cancel my numbers, I mean my letters, I can go x cubed into x fifth x squared. Then I can cancel x squared with x squared. But again, this is a mess. So it looks like there is nothing in my numerator except ones. In my denominator, I've got this x, so it looks like my answer is 1 over x. But again, it's such a mess, I think we'll do it the other way, just to check. So I have 4x cubed over 3x times 9x squared over 12x to the fifth. So 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 12, 3, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 9, 3, I can cancel my 3's. So all my numbers cancel out. If I multiply across, I get x to the 5th. x to the 5th times 1 is x to the 6th. So I do get 1 over x. I still think the second way is easier. We'll try one more. So now we'll do a bigger division. Let's see. 7a squared, b to the 5th, divided by 14a cubed, b cubed, divided by a to the 6th, b to the 4th, 8, a to the 5th, b to the 3rd. So hopefully you're doing this along with me. So here we go. I want to cancel, but I can't cancel across the division sign, so I have to change it to multiplication. So my 7 stays. I get a squared, b to the 5th. 14, a cubed, b cubed, change it to a times. I gotta flip the fraction to the right, the right one, not the wrong one. So I have eight, a to the fifth, b to the third, divided by a to the sixth, b to the fourth. Here we go. I look at my numbers and I see I can simplify my seven fourteenths. Seven into seven, one, seven into 14, two. I now can cancel my 2 with my 8. 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 8, 4. So I think I have my numbers done. 1 times 4 is 4. So it looks like I have 4 over 1. My letters. So let's see. I'll move it down here so I have more room. I'm going to multiply across and get a to the 7th. I'm going to get b to the 8th. That should be easy. Multiply across, I get a to the ninth, and I'm going to get b to the seventh. Then I've only got to do my division. My four stays. Subtract exponents, I get a squared. Subtract exponents, I get a b. So my answer is going to be 4b over a squared.